bit of a kit that sort of covers just about everything. One of the challenges with traveling is knowing what uh, lens you're going to use or what camera you're going to need or what gear you're going to need depending on what location you're going to, especially if it's a location you haven't been to before. So what I do is I try and take a kit that will cover me no matter what I come across and I've found that to be a really handy thing to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what's in my bag for this trip where we've come down south. We're at uh, Lake Wallaga or Wallaga Lake, something like that, and uh, down near Bermagui. And I'll show you what I've packed in my bag for this trip so you can get a bit of an idea of what it is that I've packed. Um, so this is my F-Stop Agena bag, which I'm really loving. Um, as you can see on the side here, I've got my tripod, so I'll just take that off. What's in the bag? <laughs> and the boss What's is, in the bag? The boss is filming this, and she's now singing a song off of uh, I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. Hopefully there's no copyright on that. Um, so my really right stuff tripod, I, I try and take that everywhere I go, uh, just because it's so damn good. That's that tripod. Not great though if you're traveling, because it's, it's a bit big. Inside the back of the bag, inside the ICU, I'll show you what I've got in here. I'll pull each thing out one at a time, so you can sort of get an idea. This is my Nikon D810. It's uh, got the 16-35mm wide-angle lens on there, and that's pretty much my main... Uh, lens these days for landscape photography. The camera itself is also the camera I use the most. That's the Nikon D810. Um, it has an L bracket on it from Really Right Stuff. I do get asked a lot about that. Um, but it's a Really Right Stuff L bracket, which means that when I put it on the tripod, I can either be portrait mode or landscape mode without having to tilt the head of the tripod. Let's have a look what else is in here. I have my wireless trigger, which is the uh, SMDV wireless remote. And it's a little aerial on the camera for that. I always bring a wide one as well. So this is made by JYC. I also have the Nikon one. I always bring one with me just in case because I've always got a backup. Big on having backups. And this one in here, this lens, is my 45 millimeter tilt shift, tilt shift lens. And I use that for panoramic in images. Um, and so I always like to have that in the bag just in case. A torch. Never know when you're gonna need a torch when you're out in the dark. Uh, talking about torches, this one's a headlight. So just my, uh, an Energizer headlight from, I think it was, came from uh, Masters when they were going broke. I've um, got my 360 um, degree rig. That's the one that I wind up. If I do a time lapse, it slowly rotates around 60 degrees. And then I've got this here, which is the, uh, the jellyfish, the square jellyfish iPhone holder. So I can put that on top of this rig if I'm doing a time lapse, or this is just a little hot shoe holder, so I can put it on top of the camera if I want to do a video. A time lapse off the top of the camera. Pretty straightforward. Um, a couple of filters. I'm not real big on UV filters, uh, but there are a couple of filters I think you can't do without. One is a circular polarizing filter, so I've got that in here. And then my Hoya ND filter, so that's a nine stop filter, which is really good for long shutter speed. Yeah, uh, Nikon 70 to 200. Um, I've used this this trip already, and it's really good if you want to shoot something and you haven't quite got the reach. Um, of course, being a zoom lens, you also compresses the image a bit, makes things a bit different. But you can start to see that I've got the 70 to 200, 16 to 35, and 45 mil. So I'm sort of covering all the different focal lengths. Uh, and I don't like to carry too much more than that because it starts to get a little bit too heavy. This one here is the Nikon 50mm 1.4 rural all round lens. And typically I'll bring this just in case I decide to, to carry my camera around with me. Nice lightweight lens. The other thing this is really good for is if I'm going to do a panoramic image and stitch it together. Uh, so I put this on the camera, put it in portrait mode, take several images and stitch it together. Now if I'm going to do a pan, then I use this. So this is my panoramic head by Really Right Stuff. Pretty straightforward, comes in the, in the bag. Fairly easy to carry around. And then you'll find I'll have the other half in here somewhere else. Uh, if I could find it, I'm not sure where it is, but it'll be in here, which is the rail itself, which is in here. So that's the actual panoramic rail. So that sits on top of the uh, the really right stuff head and allows me to adjust the, you know, the nodal distance to make sure I don't have any parallax error. So that's sort of that. Um, so the bag's just about empty. Now, a few other things that I bring, which are important. This in here, I've got some spare batteries. So a spare Nikon battery. I've got a spare Fuji battery, and that's because I do have a spare body here. A whole bunch of SD and compact flash cards. A couple of spare batteries for the Canon G7X Mark II, uh, which uh, the boss is holding right now to film this video. And that's normally in here as well, along with a Gorillapod tripod. Uh, something that's new for this trip is I've got some micro SD cards, which I wouldn't normally have, but I've, all of a sudden I do. And the reason for that is I 
have got a Mavic drone with me. So also in this bag, I've got the remote, a couple of spare batteries, and I've got the drone itself just in here in this bag here. You can start to sort of see what's, what's in here. So that was that would be that. I do have a secondary bag here, which could either hold the drone. This actually takes the whole drone in it. Uh, but right now, because I'm taking the drone and the camera, I've got my Fuji X-T1 body. Now I, ha I have a D800 body that um, would be a good option to bring as a backup. But my son, he's quite into his photography, and a bit a bit of a plug for him, by the way, if you're into photography, go to Set in Film on uh, Facebook and follow his page. But he's got the D800. He's got a couple of the lenses for the weekend. So I brought the XT1 as my spare. This is just a filter holder for the XT1, the 7.5 Lee filter kit. Some Lee filters. And then the wide angle lens, 10 to 24 millimeter lens for the, for the XT1. Then what I have in here is a whole bunch of Allen keys. I have some tweezers, which seems like a strange thing to have, but um, if I'm doing macro, the reason that's in the bag is I can you, you can use that to remove little bits of dirt or anything from fungi or something like that. Uh, a spare AAA battery. Um, the AAA battery works for the remote, the wireless remote. I have a shower cap, which came from the Westin Hotel. A lot of people wonder, why would you have a shower cap? But if it's raining really hard, you can chuck that over the top of your camera and keep it protected, which is uh, a good little tip, something I learned. Um, or he doesn't want his hair wet. I don't want my hair wet. You're going to get messy and frizzy mm. when train. Uh, the little bubble lever, which I hardly ever use these days, but it's in here. Um, I'd have another plate uh, if I decide to, you know, put something else on the tripod. That's pretty much it in there. I have this here, which came from uh, that adventure store. Katmandu, is it? Katmandu? The bit? Yep. Katmandu. Like five bucks. Really good uh, hand towel, though. Uh, but also good for wiping down the camera should it get sprayed with sea spray. So you can see it's quite a big, <laughs> quite a big towel. It's really absorbent. It's really because he goes nudie skinny dipping and he needs to dry off. <laughs> I'm not going to let you film my videos anymore. Jeez. The old commentary. So that's that. That's that towel. Uh, what else is in here? A pair of fingerless gloves, just in case I want to do some moonwalking. <laughs> but if I do get cold hands, and I do, I feel the cold. So they just always live in here. Um, and a new addition after our trip to Kiowa <laughs> is the Deep Bushman Pest Control, um, whatever you might call it. And repellent. Repellent, that's it, pest repellent. And that's pretty much it. I think there's nothing else in this bag. Oh, hang on, there's something else down here. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Some business cards for Auslands Rental, just in case I meet someone who wants to hire some gear. Uh, this is a, a filter cleaning. Cloth. I don't use it for anything else but cleaning the lens of the cameras, the glass of the, le the, uh, the, the lenses, or for cleaning the filters. And that is pretty much it. So that's that's pretty much what I bring on a weekend away. Looks like a lot of gear. It weighs probably around 12, 13 kilos, so it is a bit heavy. Um, you know, I don't always use everything, but it's about having the backup gear, having what I need so I can make sure that when I'm out there I get the shot. And I think that's what it's all about. So if you're heading away for a weekend and you're not sure what you're going to shoot, it's about putting a good variety of different gear in the uh, in the kit so you know that when you get there that you're not going to be disappointed. And I always suggest if you've got a backup body, uh, whether it's the same manufacturer or a different manufacturer, put a, a backup body in because the worst thing that could happen is let's say your camera didn't work, you've driven, uh, this was a five, five and a half hour drive for us. If I got down here and then I couldn't take a photo, that would be heartbreaking, even though the weather's been pretty uh, rotten for this trip. Uh, but at least I know that no matter what, I'm gonna be able to get the shot. So there you go, hope you enjoyed that. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to follow me on uh, Instagram, on three legs, the number three, so on three legs, or on Facebook as well. Uh, make sure you follow me there.